Support for Steppin Out comes in part from the Kristovich family in honor of Mary Lou and Bill Kristovich. Stepping out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Poppy Tooker, host of the radio program Louisiana Eats, <laughs> airing twice weekly on WWNO Radio. Good to see you. Hi, Peg. Yeah, it's been way too long. Singer Lena Prima, daughter, of course, of New Orleans music legend Louis Prima. And Lena has a brand new CD out, and she'll be performing for us a little later. Welcome back, dear. Thank so you. Excited. Thanks for having me. Thrilled. And Alan Smason of TheaterCriticism.com. But first up, Poppy. Oh, I have been dying to tell you all about this little bit of food news. You know, there is a new restaurant on St. Claude called St. Germain. Now, you have to kind of know where you're going because if you know where Red's Chinese is mm -hmm. and you know there's never been a sign that says Red's Chinese, there's just a big just Red, the Red Square. Square. So when yeah. you see the Red Square, you know you're almost there because uh, this is right next door and there's a big neon sign that says Sugar Par Park, Sugar Park, because that was apparently a pizza place that was there before. But these guys are doing this whole DIY on a budget. The sign's still there, Sugar Park. That's how you find this. And this is Drew DeLauder, Trey Smith, and Blake Aguilard. And these three guys, their paths crossed in culinary school at the CIA, and then they work together at Restaurant August and at MoFo. What they're doing, they're calling Bistronomy. And what that means is high-end cuisine at affordable prices. How could that be? Only because of the work ethic and the DIY philosophy of these three very young 30-somethings, very, very talented young men, because only they could work this hard. So let's talk about the food. The thing is that they are making everything hands-on. The bread is theirs. Um, they have a house-made cheese that they make, and the cheese, you know, when it has the whey, they caramelize the whey. They're making their own butter, and they're aging the butter, and so then they're taking the, the, the whey from the butter fat, and they're whipping. It's incredible. So some of their dishes, um, grilled radicchio with house-made XO using seaweed and smoked cured mushrooms, um, or a king salmon. That's something very special. They only serve that in a very few places. I know Delmonico's, em Emerald's Place. Um, sweetbreads with palm fondue and whey caramel and it's their food is it's like France mm. and so this what's interesting is it's dinner Thursday through Saturday only reservations only ah. because there's only 16 seats in mm. this little dining room they're completely sold out this weekend so don't anybody try mm. to get in there the last weekend of every month is a vegetarian menu and what they're really billing themselves out as is a wine bar with some heavy bar food that you can get all the time, like just about the most delicious pate I have tasted in a long, long time. They have specials, like the other night I had their beer batter fried trigger fish with aioli. And they're open from noon until midnight or later, except Wednesdays. That's when they're closed. And what they call happy hour is really happy days. <laughs> because for weekdays, from noon until 6, there's $5 shared plates, $5 wine, and $5 selected cocktails. Something else I've been dying to talk about. Okay, yes. but before you do, I just wanted to remind everybody about their website. So for lots more oh, information, yeah, stgermainnola.com. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Peg. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then I've been dying to tell you about the Hotel Peter and Paul. Oh, my goodness. This is the visionary project of Natalie Jordy, who you know is Brett Anderson's wife. It took her four years after she spent oh, with a couple million dollars buying that block that the was, of course, yeah. the St. Peter's and Paul Church, and there was a school and all of that there. And what she's done is she's turned it into this 
fabulous hotel. And there's 70 rooms, 71 rooms total. Each one is slightly different. And there's the schoolhouse, literally the old school building. It's so gorgeous, 59 rooms. The prices range between, this is their rack rate, so their high season rate, about 175 to 195. The convent has seven rooms, around 250 to five. And the rectory, of course, you know, the priests always live the best. <laughs> they had five rooms, 250 to $600 significantly lower for what you're paying than other very high-end hotels. It's all so clever with the Catholic theme running all through it. For instance, Peg, the door hangers, inside each door there are these, looks like right out of a nun's pocket, linen handkerchiefs mm. that are embroidered with cleanliness is next to godliness <laughs> if you want your rooms done, oh. or let sleeping guests lie. The church is now their event place space, which is perfect for weddings or any mm. kind of gathering. And and then their food, their, their hospitality offerings there is the Elysian Bar, which is located in the rectory. Now, Bacchanal's in charge of the bar operations, but that wonderful chef, Alex Harrell, is at the oh, helm. Okay. Of course, we last at, at Angeline, serving daily, 10.30 a.m. until midnight. Things like smoked gulf fish with confit leeks, um, heirloom corn grits with tomato braised mushrooms and a poached egg and fried shallots. How about a duck egg omelet with Cajun caviar and triple creme cheese? And mm. there's confit chicken and there's hangers steak. It is beautiful. Everybody has got to beat a path down oh, to right. St. Germain mm -hmm. and the Peter and Hotel Paul. HotelPeterandPaul.com Hotel for more Peter details on that. It, it yes. would be a sin to go <laughs> anywhere else. It really, oh, would. Yeah. it really would. And before we move on to Miss yes. Lena, we have got the most incredible show and tell. Last week, Errol and I went to Rizzuto's, which is where the old Tony Angelo's was. Yes. As we're walking out, we see the most magnificent King oh, cake. Look at this. King cake. And uh, I mean, <laughs> I absolutely just cut incredible. Cake, okay? Yes. <laughs> and we should inside. point out, okay. Say la la chef la Corona la la is the executive <laughs> chef, but this is amaretto and and citrus icing. The filling is ricotta, ricotta, ricotta. mascarpone, ricotta, mascarpone. It's thirty-four dollars. Powdered Ooh, sugar. Wow. Um, Yum. Chocolate bits, dark chocolate bits, and you, I, you just call and you can order them. Usually on hand, but oh, I would that's definitely what it call looks them. Like. And, and you should, of course, refrigerate it, but uh, it's 300 1804 is the number to order one. And, it's, and of course, it's Rizzuto's Restaurante.com for details. But I'm just going to pass it around. That was just. So look how gorgeous that is. Oh, look at the inside. The it's the absolutely insides. beautiful. That is Isn't that just gorgeous? Darling. Anyway, Yum. so while we're enjoying this, we get to talk to Lena. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I can't stop looking at the king cake. I know, I'm sorry. Really. But do tell us, okay, now, La Famiglia. All right, so these, these songs certainly take you back, don't they? Absolutely. Um, these are all wonderful songs, starting from really the 1940s and then going out through some from the 50s and 60s, early 70s that my father recorded, with the exception of one. One is a traditional Sicilian folk song, but they're great Italian heritage music that families have been uh, growing up with in their homes for generations. Sunday dinners, they play this music in the background. And it's done in the style of like a Frank Sinatra live at the Sands, you know, like a Nelson Riddle orchestra type <laughs> style, real swing and big band. Oh, so. but, and you've got, of course, in uh, homage to your dad, Oh Marie. Yes, okay. yes. And uh, just uh, come on to my house. Yes. Mary Clooney there. Right. Uh, how wonderful. And um, you're going to have a CD release party. I'm, I'm very February. excited, yes. Yeah. February 7th at the Jazz Playhouse at the Royal Sinesta from 5 to 7 p.m. What a great venue that is, it too. It is. I, I love mean, it it's there. Really, the acoustics are so perfect. It's yes. very cozy. Yes. And it's right there in Bourbon. You would think it would be loud, but it, not at all. No, it works it's, very fine. it's wonderful. And I do have to show you the most beautiful <laughs> picture. Look, here we go. Here we go. Louis and you all. Oh, and the in Miss the recording Lena. studio. Like, in the recording yeah, studio. Yeah, he had his own studio. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of your memories on that. But sure. uh, we've got to brag first, too, because how's that CD doing? And by Basin Street Records, by the way. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But how's it, how's it doing on the charts? It debuted at number 10 on the Jazz Billboard Jazz Chart. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. And tell us about the song we're going to hear. 
Um, the song is called Pensate Amore. It, I first heard it when I was just a little girl. Um, my father sang it as Fred Flintstone in a movie called A Man Called Flintstone. Oh. It came out in 1966 originally. <laughs> but um, so of course now we have Google, so I found it and it's just a beautiful song. It's never been recorded by anybody else. And um, so it, the song is about love and think love. Who cares about everything else? Stay in the moment and think about love. And, and uh, very, perfect for a battle to absolutely all right yes. well let's go and hear miss lena perform pensate amore from her new album prima la famiglia she is accompanied by larry seabreth on piano Pensate, amore, pensate, amore, think love, think love, think love. Signora, signore, pensate, amore, think love, think love, think love. Don't think of tomorrow, who thinks of tomorrow? With such a moon above, Signora, Signore, pensate, amore, think love, think love, think love. Pensate, amore, pensate, amore, think love, think love, think love. Signora, signore, pensate, amore, think love, think love, think love. Such a moon above, Signora, Signore, pensate, amore, think love, think love, think love. you can see Lena Prima performing songs from her new album at the CD release party next Thursday night at the Royal Sinesta's Hotel Jazz Playhouse on Bourbon Street. Visit Lena's website for info on her albums and to learn of her upcoming performances. All kinds of great info. And New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen Julia Street has a question for us. Last time William McClinton gave us the names of what team the Saints played um, against 
Uh, who do they play against during the Super Bowl Sniff Sniff 2010? And what group performed during halftime? The answers are the Indianapolis Colts, and the group was The Who. Now tonight's <laughs> question. According to the classic carnival song, Mambo, Mardi Gras Mambo, on what corner could you find the combos with a mambo beat? <laughs> and what group recorded the song? Email your answers to Out at WIES.org. Our prizes, a year subscription to Louisiana Life magazine. And a t-shirt with the top 10 classic veggie literary works from our friends at wearablevegetables.com. You can go to WIES.org for our online calendar. The CR lineup of events, including Festival Del Vino, tomorrow at Martin Wine Cellar on Barone Street. You can also link to our WYS YouTube channel to see our program. Now, Alan. Well, Rivertown Theaters, the Forming Arts, had their massive season announcement last Sunday in Kenner, and uh, they laid out their 2019-2020 season. It's six shows, five musicals, and one comedy. They're going to start off, uh, uh, again, by reminding everybody their summer production is Mamma Mia, a wonderful <laughs> uh, <laughs> opportunity to mention that. Uh, they can uh, be starting off at 7.30 in the summertime. That will be their official starting time for all new shows at Rivertown. They're trying that out, see if that works, and if they will, they will keep that. Now, Mamma Mia uh, notwithstanding, the first production for the new season will be 9 to 5. That's going to be based, of course, on the movie that starred Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and Dolly Parton. The show, by the way, includes a number of narrations done by Dolly Parton herself. A look for Backwards Barbie, as well as uh, the title song for this really funny work. Bob Eads Jr. Uh, returns uh, uh, after the September uh, start of 9 to 5, he returns in November with one of uh, uh, November. That's the name of it. It's the play that he did several years ago. You may remember, um, it's basically a role that was done by Nathan Lane on Broadway. It's um, uh, maybe appropriate now, uh, a very adult language co uh, comedy set in the White House with a commander-in-chief who pulls out all the stops and ignores silly things like the Constitution uh, in trying to get reelected. So again, appropriate it runs in November, November the 1st to the 10th. Meanwhile, Ricky Graham, Varley Jean Merman, and Yvette Hargis will return in the now published work of Scrooge and Rouge. This is the first time Ricky had his work published that I remember uh, from one of the uh, major big houses. It's a hilarious retelling of A Christmas Carol. That's going to be running November the 29th through December the 15th, and that's just in time for Christmas. And then one of my absolute favorites of Broadway shows, it returns to Rivertown with Lionel Bart's Oliver. That's going to be from January the 10th in 2020 to the uh, 26th. Now, consider yourself um pa pa as long as he needs me, and uh, Food, Glorious Food, some of the wonderful songs that you'll hear from this one based, of course, on Dickens's Oliver Twist. And then returning to the local stage uh, for the first time since its regional premiere at Le Petit some years ago, Peter and the Star Catcher. This is going to be from March the 6th through the 22nd. Now, again, reminder, this is the prequel to what we know of as Peter Pan. It, it tells the backstory about Peter, the backstory about Hook and all of the Lost Boys. And then um, I mentioned that there was, in 2011 and 2012, two versions of The Drowsy Chaperone. One was done at Summer Lyric Theater at Tulane, and one was done at JPAS. Well, Rivertown is bringing it for the first time to their stage. That's going to be from May the 1st through the 17th. And they're bringing it back with none other than Ricky Graham doing the role of the old man in the Fizzy chair. Guy. It should be great. He did a great <laughs> job. Of course, uh, it's interesting. They're going to have Bob Eads in one of their shows. Bob did the other version at Summer Lyric. So both of the old men in the chair are going to return uh, to Rivertown. Now, meanwhile... For the third time uh, in history here in New Orleans, and they, of course, opened up the Sanger, if you remember. It was the Book of Mormon. They're coming back. Uh, the Book of Mormon is still doing amazing box office on Broadway. Um, Matt Parker, Trey Stone, and uh, music by Robert uh, Lorenzo, you, uh, Robert Lopez. You may remember Robert Lopez wrote another little small musical called Frozen. So, <laughs> <laughs> the, the show, uh, The oh, Book yeah, of Mormon, of course, um, uh, took about eight years to develop. It's still uh, uh, packing them in on Broadway, and, of course, this is just... Uh, one of their national tours going around. It is, as one of the other critics that I know, blasphemous, he said. Uh, it is dirty. It is not for kids. It is an adult comedy. It's also one of the funniest works that you will ever see, uh, again, if you uh, keep an open mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, keeping an open mind over at Loyola University, the students are presenting Life Sucks. It's a play written by Aaron Posner. Now, now Posner uh, basically tells the retelling of the Chekhov play 
Uncle Vanya, which of course has a little bit of drinking in it. Well, uh, Posner did the same thing that he did with two other Chekhov plays, Three Sisters, which he retitled No Sisters, <laughs> and The Seagull, which he retitled as Stupid Blanking Bird. And blanking's not the middle word, if you understand that. <laughs> it promises sort of to take the starch out of Uncle Vanya. Life Sucks, February the 8th through the uh, 16th, matinees at 2 p.m. on Sunday. And um, I want to remind everybody, too, one of the other things we like to talk about with the classical arts is the symphony. They're doing visions of Vienna and Salzburg uh, on um, Valentine's Day, a wonderful way to, to treat your loved one to some beautiful music. Mozart's Piano Concerto Number no. 20, one of my very favorite classical pieces. And both Johann Strauss Jr. doing uh, When Citrons Bloom and Richard Strauss doing The Suite uh, from De Rosen Cavalier. Those are the featured items. And they have another small piece that's going to be done that's modern uh, they're going to be doing as well. But again, the LPO, what a great way to in celebrate Valentine's Day with, uh, with them over the Orpheum Theater. And that's pretty much it. All right, Alan, <laughs> thank you so much. And we get to, thankfully, uh, revisit again with Lena. Lena, show a, a, an album, a long playing I album. I did. So if, also, <laughs> if you have a record Aussie. player. Uh, rec <laughs> I, I think I remember those. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm excited, but excited about that. somebody can buy your CD. Yes, a, I have the, um, I'll have the albums available at the CD release party, uh -huh. some signed and numbered special, right, yes, well, limited edition. Now let's talk about some other things that you do these days. <laughs> you design Jewelry? I do. I've had my uh, line of pennies from heaven bracelets um, since Sweet about 2006. Little. I've been mm -hmm. making these, so kind of they're hidden here. But yeah, it's, it's I have all different sweet. styles. I have a Mardi Gras. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. beautiful. Poppy's got a I'm beautiful Mardi Gras. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love too. making them. They come with a little story about my dad and me and our pennies from heaven story. That, well, tell us that. Let's talk a little well, bit about your memories of dad. Yeah, that's what, my favorite memory, of course, because he sang the song to me when I. I was little I had the bank that played the song and you put a penny in and so he did he wound up the bank and put the penny and sang pennies from heaven to me so whenever I find a penny I always think about him I feel like he's giving me a little sign so well at the time you all were going sort of back and forth between what Covington and Las Vegas yes was absolutely. Quite a life. yeah <laughs> I grew up in both places we actually did live in New Orleans at one point too and I went to Holy yeah. Rosary had my first oh, communion did? there yeah Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, yeah, we okay. lived right across from City Park um, at the Esplanade oh, all Apartments, right. yeah. And you've also started your own nonprofit? I do. It's called Chow Women. <coughs> I wanted to honor Italian-American women in the community um, who are doing positive things and also perpetuating in their heritage and proud of the Italian-American heritage. So I've had my first awards last year, and we're doing it again this year on March 28th. Great. And you'll be at the French Quarter Fest? I will. I'll be at French Quarter Fest. Yes. Excited. I love French Quarter Fest, so That's very excited great. about that. Well, good. And now it's time for our Picks of the Week. Poppy. Next Saturday, it's time for the Marley Gras Jerk <laughs> Chicken Festival. Now, this is a little taste of Mardi Gras Jamaican style, and it happens at Central City Barbecue. There's music, food, and fun. It goes from 1 until 9 p.m. It's children friendly. Just go and have a great time, Mardi Gras Jamaican style. All right, great. <laughs> Lena, once again, your website, if anybody wants to reach you or learn more about you. And yes, lenaprima.com. <laughs> lenaprima.com and lenaprimajewelry.com. Sounds good. Thank you. Adam. Well, I want to remind everybody for counter programming on Sunday, <laughs> uh, if you don't want to watch the Super Bowl, uh, Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder is still playing at Le Petit, which <laughs> yes. I really love. And also, uh, on February the 8th coming up is going to be And the Ball and All. This is the Ricky Graham-inspired comedy about the crew of Terpsichore. Uh, again, uh, there are very few seats left, but please, I encourage you to go see that. $32, 8 p.m. performances and 2 p.m. Sunday matinee, Rivertown Theater for the Performing Arts. And Poppy, I know, you know, there's that thing that's happening on Sunday afternoon. I understand that if you want, you could go to Antoine's and see the 2010 Good Thing oh, at a Hermes bar. Right. That's a and wonderful at, thing. Uh, on Fulton <laughs> Street, uh, there's there, lots of bands if you need a distraction. Yes, sure. yes, that's the boycott so, bowl. Yes, the boycott <laughs> yes. yes. Lots of good people raising money on a day that none of us want to watch TV. Exactly, right. Right. exactly. And before I go to my picks, though, I wanted to give you, if you will, an art pick. And uh, let's see, that is a Cole Pratt Gallery. And on set this Saturday from 5.30 to 8, the Chicago years, 1947 to 1954. And it's, it's the um, Mr. Pucci um, who um, is showing the, the work that, uh, sort of his incredible body of work, if you will. And, and check that out. Cole Pratt Gallery has so many wonderful artists 
and I'm so glad that they're paying homage to him as well. And then now my picks. The Historic New Orleans Collection is having a special Mardi Gras-themed tour. It's titled Rites, Rituals, and Revelry, the History of Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Tours start at 11 a.m. sharp, Tuesday through Sunday. The days they're open, and it will continue through March the 1st. Visit hnoc.org for more fun and more details. Looking ahead, join culinary historian Jessica Harris in conversation with Chef Carla Hall next Tuesday at the New Orleans Culinary and Hospitality Institute, known as NOKI. Mm -hmm. And uh, also visit GardenDistrictBookshop.com uh, for more details on that. And you can see Russian pianist Lyra Arbach performing at Tulane University's Dixon Hall next Tuesday night. And that's, of course, the Friends of the Music. It's amazing how Friends of Music uh, goes to so much effort to have fine mu classical music on a regular basis. And Chris Champagne is debuting a new political satire show. Get this, a certain girl, what's her name, can't tell you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I like that one. Oh, that's very Can't good. Tell you. That's next Friday. That's pretty good. At, ch at cellos or North Holland, admission is a mere fifteen dollars. And the Contemporary Arts Center is having their remember you've the Sweet Arts ga Gala, yeah. where they pay tribute to many folks in the community, and that's a Saturday a week. The event will have uh, many honorees, but including uh, Shea Center's founder, Karen B. Bell, for visual arts. And we love Aurora Nealon for performance and many others. Visit 501auctions.com slash sweetarts for our tickets. So great to see you all. And Lena, anytime. We want you to come thank back. Thank you so okay, much. Kiddo. Thank you. And thank you all very much for watching. Good night. <laughs>